Alright, this is my book movie comparison of Patrick Sunkist's Perfume, A Story of a Murderer, and the movie Perfume, A Story of a Murderer, directed by Tom Cher... not gonna say that name, don't know how to pronounce that name, by Tom. This, this movie's by Tom. Jean-Baptiste Gounouy is born in the stinkiest part of Paris, France in the 18th century. He is born in a manner that causes people to think that his mother tried to kill him, so she is executed and he is sent to an orphanage. And quickly, the people start to realize um, that he's really, really weird. And the main thing that people notice that's the most unsettling thing about him is that he has no scent. He has no body odor. That makes people incredibly uncomfortable, and even to the point where they don't know why they're uncomfortable around him. Another thing about Jean Peptiste is that he has an incredible sense of smell. So much so that he feels that words himself do not adequately describe the world that he perceives. He wants to discover and devour all of the smells that he comes across. He goes about his journey of eventually becomes a perfumer and he wants to embark on the journey of to be able to capture the smell of anything that he encounters, including people, which is where the murderer part plays into. The story unfolds from there. He finds a particular victim that he wants to capture her scent and he does whatever is possible to find the best way to capture her scent and to make particular scents. The book I felt was more was more of a fat, matter of fact um, and was more seemed more like a classic. I really love the writing style. Um, it just seemed like an omniscient account of this grisly murderer. There wasn't that much suspense but it worked very well for me to just really examine Jean-Baptiste Guénoui, his life, and how he viewed the world. I thought that was very interesting. But in the movie, of course, I understand that a movie takes a particular license of changing things slightly to make to contents what is what is said in a whole book into pretty much a hour and a half movie, almost a two-hour movie. It just had problems with how they portray John Peptiste. I also felt it wasn't as creepy as it really was, you really felt in the book. I did notice that they did do that whole children knew they had an otherworldly sense that he was there something wrong with him, but it kind of cut out the fact that he was physically unsettling to everyone that he met, everyone that he met. It didn't really convey the sense that everyone was unsettled by him. The fact that a movie is a visual medium, I felt that they needed to, to visibly convey that he there was something unsettling about him the moment that people were in his presence and I felt that that was missing from the movie that Jean-Baptiste was physically unsettling for one way or another um I don't know like I, I just wanted to see him a bit uglier I'm not saying that inherently people who don't meet an aesthetic standard are inherently bad people, but I think that in classic literature that is really how appearance has been played, that a person's physical beauty is a personification of their inherent goodness, and with the classic elements that are interweaved in the story, with all the magical realism and all the fantastical elements of the story, I don't think it would have been much of a stretch to actually at least in the movie, personify his unpleasantness in a visual way. By making him look the way he did, it kind of invoked a little bit of a sense of romanticism and sympathy for Jean-Baptiste, which you were completely devoid of in reading the book. I didn't want to sympathize with Jean-Baptiste. I just wanted to see how he would do all these horrible things and what would happen to him. I did want to see him romanticize his obsession with his victims. And it seemed like in the movie he romanticized the girl instead of her scent. And in the book it made it very very clear that he 
love the scent. He didn't love the girls. He never loved anyone. He did not love people. He didn't love any of the girls. He did not love, you know, even the girl that the first started this whole thing. He was just obsessed about her smell. And that it was just one of the most wonderful things that he had ever smelled. But he did not connect that smell to her. But in the movie, it made it kind of made the implication that he did want, in a way, to capture her because on a certain level he loved her. I just felt that that kind of betrayed the real spirit of Jean Baptiste and why he's such an engaging character. I just had problems with how they portray Jean Baptiste. The difference between the book and the movie is that in the book it made it very obvious that Jean Baptiste was making a choice. He chose to kill these girls because he's like, oh I can do this or I can do this. Well, I want to do this so he does this but in the movie it conveyed a sense that he was driven and that he had felt he had no choice and that and and also in that sense I felt that it also invoked a southern another layer of sympathy for him that he couldn't control what he did but in the book he had complete control of his faculties he knew exactly what he was doing which again in the movie it takes away the creepiness and the sardonicness of this character and just the really the gravity that he's a murderer he is a psychopath he doesn't care the movie doesn't emphasize the fact that he makes a choice i do have to admit that um stylistically the movie is awesome the imagery that the movie uses it's absolutely beautiful the way that it really hyper focuses on to convey his richness of smell and the variety of things that he smells and the the the, the close-ups of all those different things that he's uh, smelling i thought it was very very well done um and very very um visually captivating but just the movie's half as good as the book in my opinion yeah so that was my book movie comparison definitely not as long as there will be blood but it's a comparison i hope you enjoy it and have a great day bye i can't say it